so Mark, like la a few weeks ago, we had the warmest day since like 1889, okay? Oh, okay. And then... <laughs> You've been paying attention to weather. And... Well, someone told me this randomly. Okay. And then when you were at the Classic, it snowed. Like, we had like a blizzard. Not So these were not that far apart from one another. Yeah. How do fish respond to that? Oh, well, that's, yeah, there's uh, uh, that's a good topic. Let's... So we'll come back and we'll talk about that. Okay. Stick around, guys. Welcome back to MFO, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. So, yeah, the question is, you get real mild temperatures mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden bam you get hit with like a blizzard where the temperatures drop snow all of that kind of stuff what to do to the fishing i i can tell you that it can be some of the best fishing and this is so kind of anti what you would think yeah but you get in a situation like that i've been in situations where that's happened and there's literally a half an inch of snow on my boat. I'm fishing in the middle of that blizzard and the fish are snapping. They are biting. A couple of things with this. One of the things that I've always said, and I think I've said it before on the channel, when we experience those changes in weather and the fish know that before we know it. Right. Okay. I remember you telling me about right. that with deer. Right, right, right. And so what's happening, or what, what animals in general, not just fish, but what animals, they know the barometric pressure is changing. And they start feeding up in, in response to, hey, the barometric pressure is going to change, weather conditions are going to change, food may not be as available as it is right now, start feeding up. And so I've experienced situations, especially walleye fishing, uh, walleye fishing right around this time, right around Easter, can be some of the great... And I've been in situations where we've been walleye fishing on the river uh, Easter morning or the Saturday before Easter and snow on the boat and just been hammering them. And it's, it's because that barometric pressure changes prior to what we see, you know, with like the snow falling or things like that or the temperature dropping. Now, I'll tell you that the following day might be a tough day to to you know be fishing because okay. now what's happened is they have fed the barometric pressure has bottomed out or whatever and at that point they aren't going to be real easy to catch but some of the best fishing can be right there on the cusp of that barometric change yeah. okay. um and again, you can't necessarily plan for that, but you but if you happen to be on the water and that's happening, don't don't let your oh man, it's cold, oh it's snowing, let's pack it up, the fish aren't gonna be biting. That could be just the opposite. That could be when they really are biting, you know, and so it's don't shy away from it. So if it's like so if it's snowing the day after it's not great, but like when will things start kind of getting back to normal again? Well, and it depends how how long the front is and things like that. But basically, any kind of change, uh, change from weed to rock, change from shallow water to deep water, any change is always something that fish are going to relate to, and a change in weather is also going to have an impact on the fish. Change from high barometric pressure to low barometric pressure. Uh, change from where wind is blowing to not where wind is blowing. Current to not current. All of these things have, there are things to look for in your fishing. And so when, and again, there's nothing, we can't control the weather. Right. But we want to be aware of it when we're going out. So, yeah, the, your observation of a very, very mild period of time to a all of a sudden quick change in weather, 
that would have had a, an impact on the fishing. And my, my statement and my observation over years is right at that change from mild to, to all of a sudden, that could be a really, really good day of fishing. Guys, we hope the information in this episode was useful to you. If you have any history or comments, please uh, share your comments. And as always, we hope that you would subscribe to the channel. And tomorrow we will see you back here for Underwater Wednesday. We got a very, very unique Underwater Wednesday coming up tomorrow. You are not going to want to miss this one. It is something I don't know a lot of you guys have ever seen before. Hmm. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Stay channeled.